Hey guys, welcome back to DIY Exotic Wear. My name is Sierra and I'm the owner of Pretty Kitty Threads. I am an exotic wear seamstress and I also teach how to start your exotic wear business. Today, I wanted to show you guys a little tip on how to finish off a cover stitch using a Brother 2340 cover stitch machine. Um, when I first started hemming things, they were coming apart and I couldn't figure out how to really secure that seam. Um, it was just like, I just didn't know. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do. It's super simple um, and it keeps that stitch secure so your clothing is not falling apart. So I already have the top. This is a high waist bottom. And this pattern is available in the bundle deal, the pattern bundle deal. The link for that is in my bio. Um, so you can see it's very clean and neat. And this is where the stitch ended and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so what I do is I'm gonna fold this. This is the leg hole. And I like to start around the crotch area this way. It's um, when I come back around, it's not right in the front. So I'm going to set that underneath my cover stitch. And then I'm going to put my needle down. And I'm only doing a single fold and there's no elastic. So I'm folding it over. You just hem like you normally hem on this machine and you guys might be wondering why I have this tape here it's my guide if you guys want a video on how to do that because that helps me tremendously let me know so I'm just hemming Now this machine at first used to give me a headache. But once you learn the tips and the tricks about this machine, I promise you'll love it. I love this machine. I used to want, I was, at one point I was thinking about getting rid of it and getting an industrial because it was too like sometimey. Sometimes my stuff would come out nice, sometimes it would come out like it just wasn't consistent and I felt like it was because of the machine. But there's just certain things you have to do with this machine and that's really it. Once you learn that, you'll it'll be smooth sailing. But this, Finishing it off, that was what used to frustrate me the most. So I actually avoided hemming things because of that. But one day I figured it out. So I figured why not help somebody else. Please make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you use this machine, what are some problems you're having? Maybe I can help. All right, so we're getting close back to where we started. And you want to take your time when you're hemming. Don't rush. Do not rush. And I'm not pulling anything. You don't want to pull this because you're gonna have a wrinkled hemline. That's what causes that. And you wanna make sure your tension is, your presser foot tension is low when you're hemming one layer. So I'm cutting this. This is where we started. I just cut off the top and I'm also going to cut off the looper thread on the bottom. You wanna cut it off before you go over it. We're gonna go past it because we wanna secure that stitch that we just cut. So you wanna try your best to line these stitches up with your needles. 
and it's going to take practice. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure you go over it. So right when I get there, I'm going to go slow and try to get it under. And sometimes I just do it by hand. So now I'm going to use this. This is a Cricut tool, but you can use um, a, a needle, a pin, something. You just need something sharp that's going to get underneath this. So you can use a needle. I'm gonna be using this. This works perfectly for me. So you're going to release these two, your needle threads. At the same time, release them and pull the strings. Pull them out like that. Okay, then you can let that go. Then, you're still holding on to it. You're gonna lift up your presser foot and then go underneath your presser foot and grab those two threads. You're bringing them to the bottom, right? Still hold on to them. Now you're going to cut, snip. You got your top thread. Now you're gonna take your looper, release your looper and pull your fabric. This is going to pull those two threads to the back. So now you can tie a knot. You don't have to tie a knot. I do this because I want mine to be secure. I don't want anything coming apart. So I do two knots. And then you can cut. And now you have your finished hem. And it's not coming apart. It is not coming apart. All right, so now let's do the other side. I'm gonna show you guys again in case, in case it wasn't clear, of course, Rewatch the video because sometimes things don't make sense when you first watch things. You got to keep watching it and really pay attention. All right, so I folded it over, putting my needle down, and just sewing like normal. pulling the fabric because that's how you get ripples see how this is laying flat no ripples that's what you want now sometimes it's gonna happen it depends on the fabric some fabrics you have to do different things add more tension to your presser foot that's why it's always good to test a piece of fabric before you start a project because one fabric the settings will be fine, but when you move on to the next one, it, it might start wrinkling up. So it is like you do have to play around with the tensions, but not all. So now we're coming back to where we started. Let's cut those threads. And try your best to align them. All right. 
Now our needle is up. Make sure it's up as far as it could go. Release your needles. And pull your threads towards you. Now lift up your pressing foot. Take your needle or any sharp object, go underneath the presser foot and pull those threads down under. Now you can cut your thread, doesn't matter where. And now you're gonna release your looper and pull and you'll see that your top threads are being pulled to the back. See that? Now cut your looper and you tie your knot. Now let me show you guys what the bottoms look like in case you are interested in this pattern. Again, it is for sale. It's not, um, it's not a single pattern, it's a bundle. So you will get um, 10 patterns total. This is the high waist pattern that comes with it. On the bottoms, you can see they fit nice and snug, high waisted, super cute, simple. That took me about 10 minutes to make. So if you like to purchase this pattern, click the link in the description box and you can purchase the pattern bundle, which includes 10 physical patterns that will be mailed to you. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you are a part of our Facebook group, DIY Exotic Wear. The link to that is also in the description. Um, and I also, I'll leave a link to the machine that I use, the cover stitch, because I always get asked what kind of machine I use. I got mine from Amazon. Um, yeah, I think that's all, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.